For those of you who got a Karcher K-Series pressure washer, you're probably going to have a gun which looks quite similar to this. Now this one's quite cool because it's got three different modes. You've got the car cleaning mode, the patio mode and the chemical mode all in one nozzle. So it is very practical. And one of the massive pros about having a K-Series is the amount of different snow foam cannons and adapters that you can put onto this gun to make it perform even better. But as of lately, there have been some major drawbacks for me. And I simply don't enjoy the whole process of when you're cleaning a car, you have to get the snow foam cannon off, which basically involves you pushing down on the lance like this and then twisting it. And the majority of the time when you're trying to twist it to get it out, you're then twisting it onto chemical mode or patio mode it doesn't work it just doesn't quite work for me it's not very quick and easy i know it's quite simple compared to some other machines but for me it's just not quite good enough and that's where today's video comes in i've gone out and i've been shopping and i got myself the brand new mtm sgs 28 aka the best stubby gun in the world now i can't wait to try it out on loads of different cars but this is just a first look because i want to show you this thing in all its glory before i get out there and i start hammering it to death and I think later on in the year I am going to do a full review because I want to cover some of the pros and cons. But this is just going to be a first look at how well this thing's actually built and how it compares to your original Karcher one. Okay, so the first thing I can see is the build quality of this thing. It is absolutely sublime. Stainless steel fittings here. And one of the major things that you do get when you've got the brass ones, you can get a lot of these guns cheaper. I'm not going to lie, this isn't the cheapest one in the world. But if you do go for your average £35 ones, they are good enough for a lot of people. If you're doing this for a business and you're going to be using it every single day on car after car after car, you are going to need something a bit better because those brass ones are not really going to last five minutes if you're going to be hammering through loads of cars. So just bear that in mind. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's made in Italy, like I said, stainless steel. And one of the common problems people do get with the original Karchers is the hand fatigue. When you're right-handed, you're using this gun all the time your hand does tire away and I've said before in previous videos these are really stiff and it takes a good four or five months before they start getting loose this is very soft like you can see here absolutely no effort you could press it even with your little finger and I have been testing this out on a couple of Kranzels and it's been so far so good so not only did I get the stubby gun I've also got myself a little nozzle as well and just look at this like absolutely beautiful it's like loading a gun not that I've ever done that before but look at that, straight in and out. And that's one of the positive things about stainless steel. The durability of it as well. The brass ones, they can get really stiff. So if you're going to be someone who leaves this in your van in really damp conditions and you've got oxidisation happening, these can get really stiff, especially if you don't look after them. So that's why I've gone for some custom fittings because I love that. I could do that all day. Not that I'm sad. So why would you choose one of these over one of these in the first place? Well, first of all, these can't spin 360 degrees. These cartridges will always have those common things like kinking in the hoses. With this, it can also eliminate it. Not completely. I'm not going to say everybody's going to have the same experience because everybody does have different hoses. You can get very bad, cheap, thin hoses out there that literally just coil up every time you use it. So they're not going to be practical. But a lot of people think, oh, why don't I just buy another machine? It's not all about the machine and the power it provides. You've got to have the right kit as well in your hand if you want to get a good area covered in a short amount of time. So I got myself this lance and it's got a couple of cool features. First of all, it's got a 360 swivel, which is good for avoiding splashback. And that is something that can commonly happen when you've got a straight gun. And this has got a 15 degree tip as well, which further reduces that risk. Not only that, it's got a thermoplastic handle, which means in the winter months, and believe me, if this is your first time doing detailing and you haven't hit the winter yet, believe me, you're going to realise just how tough it is. This has got a thermoplastic handle, so basically when the cold water comes through, you're not going to feel it as much. It's going to reduce that pain going through your hand, and believe me, it is painful. So I like all those features. I like the 360 feature as well. So not only have you got the 360 swivel here, you've got the 360 swivel here as well. So getting around the door shuts and navigating your way around the car, it really does speed up the process. So what are the sort of tests that I'm going to be carrying out? Well, first of all, I want to see what it's going to be like to live with on a daily basis. I'm going to be trying this out on loads of different machines. It's not going to make much difference on what machine I use, but it gives me a chance to try out the different machines with their different hoses to see which one I think it works best on. And when you're a valeter and you're trying to build a nice package, like a good setup for your pressure washer, you can get a good machine, but then you don't get a good hose. Or you can get a machine that's got a great gun and a great hose, but then the machine's terrible. 
I'm hoping this is going to solve all of those problems. So if you want to see how I get on with this bad boy, then make sure you become a legend and smash that subscribe button. And also give this video a thumbs up to show your support. And I'll see you in a couple of days time for another video.